Good morning and welcome back to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel. This morning we'll be taking a closer look at this first edition Ford Cougar Titanium. It's a two litre Eco Blue mild hybrid electrical vehicle featuring a six speed manual gearbox. So in this walk around video, I'm gonna be taking you through everything you need to know about the specification of this vehicle. First thing to note is on a 20 plate, so we'll have warranty remaining until 2023. As we're making our way around the front of the vehicle, first thing to note is your very large LED auto headlights with your daytime running lamps just below. In the middle of the bumper here, we have a front vision camera and we'll show you a bit of that when we get inside. Also worth noting, we have the Ford Active Park Assist, so that includes the parking sensors around the front lip and also the driver assistance pack and adaptive cruise control, which is all thanks to the front facing radar, that little kitty there. I'll show you a bit more about that once we're inside the vehicle. Okay, we're making our way around to the offside front now, where you can see an 18 inch machined alloy wheel. Four Continental tires feature around the vehicle and I've just left one poking out, so you can see plenty of tread remaining on those tires, yeah. Now, unfortunately, we are not blessed with the sun just yet. It hasn't really, it hasn't, it hasn't popped up over Perkins yet. So I'm going to try and give you some reflections with the light I have. So, do you want to see that? It's amazing. There we go. So you can see the reflections in the bodywork. So I'm making our way around to the rear of the vehicle now. And there's a few specifications to note here, such as your rear vision camera and rear parking sensors trailing around the rear of the bumper. Take a wander around to the near side of the vehicle now. Just pan out and show you what she's worth. On both the drivers, uh, both the wing mirrors, sorry, you have your driver assistance pack featuring as well. So this is your blind spot assist monitor featuring in both the near side and the offside mirror. Now, as we're at the back, let's pop open the boot and open her up. So as you can see, a nice deep filling high volume rear boot there as well. Under here is where your electrics high voltage battery is stored. So I wouldn't take that cover off because it's very high voltage, ladies and gentlemen. From the rear here, we have toggles to fold down the rear seats. And we also have a 12 volt socket on the near side for good measure. I'll just shut that up. We'll take a look inside the rear of the vehicle. Let just pop this seat up. Okay, so one of the party tricks for these Cougars, or these seats, are individual. There's a little rail underneath there, so you can pull them forward, pull them backwards. You can recline them individually as well. So, so you can see that, you can tilt the back, uh, the rear of the seat backwards. For the passenger's convenience down here, we do have a 230 volt plug socket, which opens up just like that. So if you need to keep things nice and charged on longer journeys, that's easily achievable. Whether part leather, part cloth interior, and some subtle white stitching as well. The near side rear and the off side rear are both ISOFIX in ports, so you can connect your baby seats and keep them nice and secure. Okay, we're at a driver's door now, and this is another bit of specification to be found, which is your keyless entry system. So that's a touch on here, that will lock the vehicle. Power folding and heated door mirrors, touch on there, and it's going to lock the vehicle. So as long as the key is in your pocket or close proximity, you'll be able to take advantage of these wonderful features. And the driver's door card is where you'll find your interior locking, all four window controls and your mirror controls as well. Inside. Okay, we have a keyless go button to match the keyless entry as well. So you can click on that and it will start the vehicle up. Let's start by looking at the driver display here. So fairly conventional, we have your RPM gauge to the left hand side and your speedo to the right. Let me just clear the seatbelt warning. There we are. So speedo to the right, we have a fuel gauge and a coolant temperature sensor down to the bottom left we can flick through all your settings here. You can adjust my view, so you can have anything you like on that screen. This is a bit of your driver assistance. So this is where your uh, adaptive, cruise control, uh, adaptive cruise control screen will be found. Get me words out this morning. So if we just go into the menu here, 
we can see some of the lovely features to be found. So people always ask me about these Eco Blue engines. Can I see the at blue level? Of course you can. So you can use the menu to scroll through and find out how much you've got left. So it will show really good marker. But it'll indicate you when you're running low as well. Okay, so just quickly, cruise control uh, buttons are on the left-hand side of the steering wheel with your menu controls on the right. A few phone connectivity buttons as well and volume controls are there for good measure. We're looking at your sync module now. This is a 12.3 inch touchscreen monitor. So if we come out of there, we can see it's got the blue band at the bottom, so it's a sync 3.4 and it's navigated in between audio, phone, navigation and mobile apps. Fully compatible with Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So whichever software you use, it's fully compatible with that screen. So it'll practically mirror your phone onto that screen. So you can use things such as navigation or your podcast, your audio books, phone, anything you like. But if you don't have that, you can also use Bluetooth as well. So making our way down from the screen now, we can see a nice camera button. So I said I'll have a show you when I went inside. So this is the view from the front camera. Click it again, it'll go into like a panoramic view as well. So you can just see how wide it's showing me. So I've got an HS there, we've got another white vehicle there. And if you look at the screen, you can see that's a nice wide view. So it's a real nice parking aid. Click it once more, it will turn you back to your home screen. We have volume controls on and off, a tuner for the radio, and we can also turn this screen off as well. So you can put it on the standby and turn it off completely. One touch and it will turn back on again. So really nice and responsive, this screen. As we're making our way south even more, we can see your dual zone air conditioning. So both sides of the cabin can be set to individual temperatures. So if you do have a really cold passenger, you can heat them up whilst keeping yourself nice and cool. Heated front screen also features there. So in the winter mornings, click that button and it will defrost the front screen nice and quickly. But in this climate, you'll be more concerned about the max air conditioning button. Click that, the blowers go crazy and it will cool you down in seconds. Okay. Further south, we have a wireless charging pad to the left-hand side, and to the right-hand side, we have a 12-volt socket, a USB-C, and a conventional USB socket as well. So quite literally, charging devices, never been easier. You've got every type of connection you'll ever imagine. So plug socket, wireless charging pad, USB-C, and a conventional USB. I don't think you'll ever be caught short-charged, if you pardon the pun. Anyway, I impress myself at times, I know. 6-speed in manual gearbox, uh, nice and conventional 6-speed, put it in the cruiser gear, you'll have ridiculous MPG on longer journeys. This little kitty here is for your automated parking, active park assist. So if you do struggle parking, ladies and gents, you need a bit of a hand, just tell it what kind of parking space you're going into using your indicators. So and using the front parking sensors and the rear, it'll build up an image and uh, quite literally park the vehicle for you. So that's very clever. We have a mode button down here, which you can see all the different drive modes. So whether it be eco, we've got a sport mode, we've got a slippery mode, and we've also got a deep snow and sand. So whatever driving condition you're in, this vehicle is clever enough to adapt the, the throttle response to give you the ultimate grip. Down here, we have your electronic handbrake and active vehicle hold function. And I love our Ford, because we've got some lovely adaptable cup holders. So whatever drink you are drinking, clamp it in and have nice and secure drinks. Nothing worse than going along a journey and got nowhere to put a beverage. Nice deep filling storage unit there. And yeah, I think I've covered quite a lot, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're interested in this vehicle and would like to find out more, please do give us a call on 01376 550 899 or alternatively head to perkinsgarages.co.uk for the full spec and yeah for the full spec thank you very much for watching bye bye